you went through this last year with so many injuries and still having such a, an amazing season was a testament to you guys. Well, how, what do you say? What do you say? The Yankee fans who are worried that like the team's snake bitten, that just people are getting hurt, and it seems like last year's repeating itself before you even get started. What do you, yeah. what do you think about that? Yeah, it's all I gotta say is number twenty eight is gonna be coming in New York soon. So that's we that's our goal, and I know a lot of you guys are going through tough times, but you know, last year we had the next man 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 next man up mentality, and you know, there's a lot of guys that are chomping at the bit to get that opportunity this year, and I think you know we got a lot of young guys coming up that you know can fill in that spot. You know, obviously with Sevy and you know Paxton out, so and and G and Judge are fine; they'll be back soon. So you know. Um, we just got to hold the fort down for, you know, a couple of weeks and we'll, we'll get the, we'll get our troops back. So is Aaron okay? You know, people are particularly worried about him, but especially cause it's a weird injury. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's been good, man. I, he's, he should be, uh, you know, back out on the field soon, but you know, it's, this is the time, you know, obviously you don't want injuries, but you know, it's early. So he's got plenty of time, you know, to take his time to get back. You know, we got a solid group of guys still. So just, he, he needs to get right and we'll be good. I've wondered about the, your number from last year. You you got a guy who came onto the team who got a lot, a lot, a lot of money. <laughs> Did you get like a sweet vacation at her? I know you said you didn't want to answer before you had talked to Garrett. I don't know now that you guys are buddies and teammates. Can you reveal what what the deal was, what you got for yourself, Luke? I can't, man. It's between <laughs> me and him. But, yeah, he, he hooked me up with something cool. I should have had him buy me a house or something or a car, but <laughs> for three hundred plus million, yeah. <laughs> but no, it's it's between me and him. You know, it's 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 kind of you know that uh, you know in house thing that we keep. So you know, I we talked about telling people, but I think we just want to keep it between me and him because it's you know me and him thing. So, but, but yeah, he got me something cool. I'm looking at your Instagram a while back, and I see you got like you got a barbell loaded up with a bunch of weapons <laughs> in one arm. Who you? We got a, a lot of big, strong guys on the Yankees. You obviously included, but you have Aaron Judge. You have John Carlos Stanton. Who is the strongest guy on the Yankees? Come on, that's a dumb question, bro. It's me. <laughs> even though, even though I wish I looked like Stanton, but <laughs> the guy's like a freaking Hercules. But hey, I got him. So you're the strongest guy in the team. What do you bench press? That's that's what everyone always wants to know. We saw your one hand with the with the dumb with the barbell, which was crazy. Yeah. I, 365 twice that's the that's the best i've got so that's like 400 for one at least right i haven't done 400 i've tried but it came right back down <laughs> <laughs> now tell me about this this is based on your like life as like a kid kind of growing up through baseball yeah it's just it's just my kind of baseball story and um you know just show kids you know you know just not through my life but in, you know in a book um you know, and, you know, my dream was to always play baseball, obviously. And, you know, your dream can be anything, whether that's, you know, a doctor, scientist, you know, teacher, whatever you want to be. And, you know, you work hard and dream big, good things happen. You know, being in the Bronx, you know, and, you know, I got so many fans in there. And, you know, obviously the Yankee Stadium's right there. And, you know, to go to these schools, I'm going to go to three or four schools, um, you know, and, you know, give these kids, you know, kind of a glimpse of what it's like to meet a Yankee player. And, you know, I uh, went to one last year and I worked out with them. I did a PE class. So it was fun. And, you know, and it's literally four four blocks away from the stadium and I'm going to these schools and they haven't had Yankee players in like 20 years go to these schools. So it's, it's pretty cool to, you know, instead of seeing me on TV all the time to see me in person and to give back. And I remember when I was like 10 years old of, uh, you know, meeting, a, uh, you know, a professional athletes or someone famous. It's something that sticks with you, especially when you get to give them a hug or a high five. Luke's baseball story. Check it out, guys. Especially for your little kids in elementary school. So if any of you guys got kids out there. So it's pretty cool. And, um, yeah, I'm excited about, you know, what this could bring.